This video breaks down the biochemistry of the spice black pepper. Black pepper comes from the berries of a pepper plant. Black pepper, green pepper, and white pepper actually all come from the same plant. However, they have different colors and flavors because the berries are picked at different maturity levels. Black pepper comes from picking the berries right before they turn red. In 5.8 grams of black pepper, or 2 teaspoons, there's about 0.7 grams of water, around 12.4% of the overall mass. Black pepper contains a significant amount of the fat-soluble vitamin, vitamin K. Vitamin K is required for making proteins involved in blood clotting and bone metabolism. It makes its way to the liver where most is used up and exits the body and small amounts remain in circulation. Two tablespoons of black pepper contain about 9% your daily copper. Copper kickstarts many proteins, some of which are involved in brain development, the immune system, and wound healing. Black pepper is surprisingly high in manganese, with two teaspoons providing 32% your daily value. It's required for the metabolism, bone formation, reproduction, the immune system, and blood clotting. Black pepper does contain some dietary fiber, which aids digestion. Black pepper's familiar pungent spice comes from an alkaloid called piperine. This molecule causes temporary inflammation and increased sensitivity to irritation in the mouth. It also diminishes sensitivity to sweet, tart, and bitter flavors. When compared to other foods, black pepper is a one on the pungency scale. It has a similar spice intensity to ginger, which scores 0.8, but it is nowhere near as spicy as chilies, which score between 150 and 300. Black pepper improves digestion by stimulating the stomach to make more hydrochloric acid. It also contains antioxidants, which help heart health and digestion. Don't forget to sprinkle some black pepper on your next meal. Thanks for watching.